Hey guys, this is Cardinal Bird 5 and today I want to be breaking down the Capron attribute and how it is used in MLB The Show. Uh, first we're going to start off with kind of giving you the explanation of you know how the del what the developers look for to pull their data to uh, assign pitchers a K per nine rating in MLB The Show. Uh, so we're looking at uh, fan graphs again and we're on the last three years. Um, so there's two uh, stats you can look at and they're both pretty similar. Uh, there's just some slight differences. Uh, so we are looking at the past three years. Um, right now, uh, for the last three years, Yu Darvish has the high K percentage rate uh, among all starting pitchers. Um, so 31.7%. And then we have Kershaw and Sell. I have Chris Sell pulled up right now. His K per nine is 88. Uh, we can also go look at Kershaw for the Dodgers here. Again, his is 89. And then we'll even look at Yu uh, Darvish for the Rangers. His is at 88. Um, so yeah, there can be some anomalies and inconsistencies with how they assign certain pitchers' ratings. Uh, I don't know if it's biases or or what it is. Maybe it's just to keep certain pitchers up, or maybe they're punishing Darvish because he has been hurt quite a bit. I don't know. For whatever it is, uh, for the most part, I would say they're pretty consistent with how they assign these ratings. And the two stats you want to pay attention, especially if you're looking for future upgrades, um, are is K percentage and K per nine. Uh, there is a slight difference. Uh, if if certain pitchers like I don't know, let's say you Darvish for instance, say he just for whatever reason has a high Babbitt, if we look at his Babbitt, it's a little higher than Kershaw's, and uh, yeah, for whatever reason, he gives up more hits, and he has to face more batters, his K per 9 might not necessarily, or it might necessarily be higher than Kershaw, who's also getting outs, you know, via, you know, ground outs, fly outs, you know, whatever it may be, maybe he's turning more double plays. Basically, Kershaw is facing less guys per nine innings, slightly, than what you Darvish is. So that can kind of explain, um, you know, why a certain pitcher could have a higher, uh, or a lower K per nine, yet have a higher K rate, and it can work vice versa. And I'm just giving um, examples there, not necessarily saying that, I don't think Kershaw even has a higher K per nine, but I'm just saying why there can be some differences. Uh, but basically, these are the two most important uh, stats you want to look for, and, and this is what San Diego Studio looks at for their K per nine is K percentage, and then of course they also have the K per 9 rating, which we had pulled up earlier, and here it is. It's pretty much the same type of pitchers will be up here. Um, like I said, we might have pitchers that kind of run into some bad luck, like Corey Kluber has a high BABIP the last three years. That means uh, balls in play and are finding more holes, and guys left on base. He's he's not leaving guys on base, such as uh, like Clayton Kershaw and Yu Darvish are pitching more out of GMs, turning more double plays. So whatever it is, those, those are the small... Uh, anomalies why a pitcher might have you know a higher uh, K per nine compared to their K percentage uh, in regards to their ranking anyways uh, so sorry I know all that's kind of confusing but basically it's pretty straightforward um, look at the K per nine and look at K percentage and that'll give you a general idea of where these pitchers sh should be ranked as far as uh, K per nine in the game and assign their attributes so we're looking at Darvish 88 K per nine uh, who's somebody else we could look at we could look at Max Scherzer real quick Max Scherzer is at 87. Um, again, they're all pretty similar, all in the upper 80s. Um, and then keep in mind that a lot of the relievers have really, really, really high K per nine. Uh, I don't know if they're all on there. What we'll have to do is we'll have to sort through minimum innings pitched. I don't know. Say we did 30. And some of the relievers should pop up here. Um, see, actually, these are all starting pitchers. If we go to... Oh, here it is. Duh. Well, it is all. Minimum innings pitched. Uh, well, anyways, we'll just click on relievers here. I'm not sure why they're not showing up. And here we go. Now, some of the relievers have just insane K per nine, like Chapman, Miller, Batances. Now, these are the guys you're going to see with maxed out uh, with maxed out K per nine, and we'll go look at some of the Yankees. Uh, Chapman, see he has K, K per nine maxed out. Uh, Batances, the last three years, uh, his is maxed out as well. And then we have Andrew Miller, who's maxed out. And then uh, we can even look at somebody like Kimbrel, who's maxed out as well. So those guys are just in a uh, echelon of their own. Um, but yeah, basically that's that's what how it works, and that's why you see a lot of the relievers maxed out, and some of the starters not quite maxed out because uh, yeah, they just they just pitch differently. I mean, the relievers come in throwing heat, and they throw a little harder, and they're looking to get that strikeout. But anyways, that's a uh, explanation of how the K per nine um, attribute is 
or how the developers come up with a K per nine attribute and assign it to the pitchers. Uh, so first, or next, I'm going to get into uh, showing you guys how it affects the PCI size again. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Alright guys, so again, if you haven't watched my last video on the hits per nine, make sure you guys check that out because it'll explain a lot of this and a lot of this will make sense because when we're doing this testing, uh, we're using the same, you know, the same uh, pitcher and hitter, Garrett Cole and Mike Trout. Um, all we're going to change are uh, Garrett Cole's attributes, we're not going to touch Mike Trout's attributes. Um, so again, this is Garrett Cole's base attributes on the game as of right now. Um, but before we get into all the testing and showing you guys the PCI sizes and all that, again, I want to explain. Uh, now, how hits per nine actually, or excuse me, K per nine, how it actually uh, works as far as gameplay. Again, it's a huge component and impact for simulations in the game, but it does have an impact in gameplay. Um, so basically, what it does, K per nine directly, it directly modifies your opponent's uh, plate vision rating. So, say somebody has a 99 plate vision rating, and say Garrett Cole has 99 K per nine. Um, you know that's that's gonna be that's gonna make a big difference. That's gonna you know I don't know again the, the exact algorithm, but it could knock it down. Uh, let's just say that if you have it maxed out, it can knock it down 10%. So that could knock down the plate vision by you know 10 points, knock it down to 90. Again, I'm just coming up with these numbers. I don't know the exact algorithms. I just know if you look at the PCI size, it does have an impact. Uh, so yeah, so say Garrett Cole's K per nine is zero, and Mike Trout's plate vision or whoever he's facing has 99 plate vision. Basically, uh, the the plate vision is going to be maxed out and the PCI is going to be just about as big as it gets. Um, of course, hits per nine has an impact. Uh, hits per nine and contact has an impact on that as well. But uh, K per nine is another you know main component of how big your opponent's PCI will be. And again, the direct attribute that it counteracts is plate vision. So what that means is uh, plate vision allows your opponent to, um, it doesn't necessarily allow them to hit the ball you know, better or harder or hit more line drives, all it does is allow them to put the ball in play and foul off more pitches. So K per nine, pretty much self-explanatory like it sounds, it's technically should get you more strikeouts and more swings and misses. That's what it's there for. Um, so, uh, so yeah, basically I'm going to show you guys, again, how it looks and we're going to compare, um, you know, if Garrett Cole had zero K per nine to max out hits per nine, and we're going to be facing the same pitcher again. And again, I'll show you, are the same hitter, I mean, we're going to show you guys Mike Trout's attributes. So you can see his plate vision is already, it's already somewhat low. So yeah, we'll compare and contrast and show you guys, you know, how it affects the PCI size and all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, we'll see you guys then. Alright guys, uh, so we're back at it with the pictures here. Again, in the top left we have Cole's real hits per nine and K per nine when facing Trout. Same size as last time, nothing changed, that's just their base. Then we go to the top right, now I actually put Cole's K per nine at zero, and you can see uh, how much bigger uh, his PCI got. Bottom left, again, K per nine maxed, again it shrinks. And then finally, in the bottom right, the hits per nine and K per nine are both maxed out. I also want to show you guys uh, some con uh, comparison and contrast with um, some of the, you know what you do when you you know either max out the hits per nine compared to when you max out the K per nine versus Trout and show you some of the differences. Uh, but anyways, looking at these four, <sighs> pretty similar to last time. Um, I mean, since his hits per nine and K per nine were already pretty in that you know high 60s, low 70 range. Uh, PCI, the actual PCI change, the PCI changes are roughly uh, on pace to how they changed with the hits per nine changes. So I know all this is a little confusing, but this is just a uh, visual demonstration of how it actually affects the PCI size. As you can see, K per nine and hits per nine, in my opinion, have about an equal impact on the PCI size, but it also depends on what type of hitter you're facing. If you're facing somebody with maxed out plate vision and lower contact, and you have, you know, maxed out K per nine, I think that's going to affect the PCI size a little bit more. Um, because it, it technically modifies it. I don't think it's in a. I don't think it's a direct subtraction. I think it's more of a modification. If that makes sense, I don't know. I know some of this can be confusing, but just bear with me. Uh, the key takeaway is just look at the visuals, and you'll see how it does affect the uh, the PCI size.
Alright guys, and one more comparison slide here. Um, so what we did, we're comparing uh, if we put H per 9 at 0, compare it to K per 9, and then if we max out H per 9 and then compare it to K per 9, which one actually has a bigger impact on a player like Mike Trout? Um, the answer actually is hits per 9. And uh, the reason is because Trout already has, again, high hits per 9. Uh, so I think I kind of contradict myself in my last in my last video to an extent. Well, what it what it mostly affects is the PCI size. It's still up to debate, you know, which one you prefer because K per nine trying to go for swing and misses, hits per nine you're just trying to counteract the contact rating and you're trying to, you know, avoid as many line drives and solid hits as possible. Um, of course, all that being said, if your opponent's still squaring up the ball, good timing, you're still gonna hit the ball hard. Anyways, um, if you just look at these pictures, what we have though. Uh, you have to look really closely, but the hits per nine, when you have it at zero compared to the K per nine, the top two snaps, uh, the hits per nine, put that at zero, it actually makes the PCI slightly bigger than if you put the K per nine at zero. The reason being, Mike Trout already has a lower plate vision, so you can only modify it so much. So again, if we use the example, um, you know, if, not, if you have a 99, uh, or say it's 10% and you have a 99 plate vision, um, it's only going to take away like 5% if it's at 50. However, if you have somebody that has 99 plate vision and you take away that 10%, it's going to take away 10 points, which would put it at 90. That's how modifiers work. And that kind of shows that at the bottom two there. Um, hits per nine maxed out compared to the K per nine. Uh, when you max out, you know, Garrett Cole's hits per nine, the PCI is slightly smaller uh, when compared to uh, maxing out his K per nine. It's very, very subtle, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, kind of how it works as a modifier. So I kind of hope that cleared up some confusion, and I hope this uh, taught you guys a thing or two. I actually learned a thing or two doing this test myself. Um, and if you guys have any more questions on uh, hits per nine or K per nine work, feel free to ask. Um, just to wrap up this, uh, these two videos, I guess, or this video in particular, um, in my opinion, K per nine and hits per nine are still the two most important attributes for pitching. Besides, of course, like VLO and break, but as like, far as the per nine ratings go. And uh, we're also going to be doing a walks per nine eventually and a home runs per nine video as well and breaking them down and explaining what they do. Uh, this is Cardinal Bird 5 signing out. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Peace.